Welcome to Creative Cubs Book Nook, where we share stories in fun and interactive ways. And today I have with me Bentley Bear. Bentley, can you say hello to the friends? <laughs> I also have Bailey Bear with me today. Bailey, can you say hello? <laughs> and we are very excited to have you at the Book Nook today. We are in our enchanted garden today, my friends because we want to give you an update on our caterpillars. Yes, we are very excited to show you how they've been changing. We'll be sharing the entire metamorphosis or big change that happens with caterpillars becoming butterflies. And we're very excited to show you how they've changed so far. But first, let's start with our hello song. Are you ready, Bentley? Are you ready, Bailey? All right. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. I'm glad you're here today. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. I'm glad you're here today. So hello again, everyone. And we are very glad that you're here today. And we're going to be starting with a story that we're going to share together. And then following the story, we're going to do a couple of fun songs. Okay? All right. But first, Bentley and Bailey are going to have a seat right over there so that we can show you how the caterpillars have been changing. Okay? All right, Bailey. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay, Bentley. Are you going to go sit over there now? All right. We'll see you back in a little bit. All right, my friends. <clears throat> I have to be very careful and very gentle. I have transported our chrysalises. That's right. They're, they are not caterpillars anymore. Remember the caterpillars in the little cups? If you didn't see that video, you can go ahead back and watch that, okay? But they were caterpillars. We shared them in a little cup. Two little cups, actually. Five and five. Five in each cup. And I have now moved the lids from those little containers to this butterfly garden because if we look closely see my friends they're not caterpillars anymore are they they're chrysalises so i had to move them to the butterfly garden so that they have a bigger area once the chrysalis is open what will come out who remembers butterflies are going to come out that's right once the chrysalis is open butterflies will come out and their wings will be a little bit wet and kind of folded up a little bit. And then as they dry, they open up and they need some room to spread their wings. So that is why they are now in this butterfly garden. Okay, my friends? And when that happens, I'll be back with another video too to show you. But look at that. See? <gasps> Big changes or metamorphosis is happening inside the chrysalis is there. You see them? They look like they're just hanging nice and still, don't they? Whoa, yes. But inside there, they are actually changing now to become butterflies. Isn't that amazing? So I thought today's story would be fun to share the very hungry caterpillar together. And it's by Eric Carl. So the title or name of the book is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And friends, this is the front cover and this is the back cover of the book. And this is a hardcover book. Listen, oh, do you hear that? That means it's a hardcover book. I can't bend it and I wouldn't want to because it would damage my book, right? And I wouldn't have it to share with all of my friends at the book nook. And on this part of the book, this is called The Spine of the Book. And on the spine of this book is the title again, or name, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And it's by Eric Carle. All right. So when we open up to the first page, friends, we come to the title page. There's the title or name of the book again, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. I'm very excited to share this story with you. You may already know it. Oh, and this book has a dedication as well on this page. It says... For my sister, Krista. 
So Eric Carle dedicated this book to his sister, Krista. All right, here we go. I'm going to scooch over here. <laughs> In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. On Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. Yum! But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through one, two, three, four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he, he ate through five oranges. Five, but he was still hungry, my friends. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. And that night, oh, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself and he stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and he pushed his way out. And he was a beautiful butterfly. The end. What did you think about the very hungry caterpillar? We've been learning about that, haven't we? The caterpillar comes from an egg, right? An egg could be on a leaf, stuck on the leaf, and the caterpillar comes out and eats and eats and eats and eats and eats and gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And, bigger. Mm -hmm. and then when he's big enough, he sticks himself to the underside of the leaf or somewhere else, like in our butterfly garden here. They stuck themselves, right, to the top of the lid when they were in the containers. And they form a chrysalis around themselves. First, they create like a hook with their bodies, like a hook or a letter J almost. And then they stick themselves to the, well, with this, they did it to the, um, the lid, right? And they formed their chrysalises, which they have now. Yes. And then when they open up from these chrysalises, they're not going to be caterpillars anymore, right? Mm -mm. They're going to be beautiful butterflies. Yes. I'm so excited for when that happens and I'll be able to share it all with you. So part of this book, my friends, was about the days of the week, wasn't it? Yes, it was. They started it with, he started to look for some food, right? 
And he ate through all these different foods each day of the week. So let's sing the days of the week now together, okay? All right. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Great, my friends, high fives. Does anyone know how many days are in the week? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven days in a week. That's right, my friends. <laughs> well, I hope that you enjoyed your time at the Book Nook today in our enchanted garden with Bailey Bear and Bentley, of course. <laughs> we always have so much fun spending time with all of you, my friends, and we'll see you next time, okay? Goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye to all my friends. We'll come and play another day. Goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye to all my friends. We'll come and play another day. Goodbye to all my friends. Bye, everyone. Aw, they're sending kisses to you. Bye-bye. Bye, friends.